Coming in. A Louisiana pet. Woo. Love myself. Look at that. Having gates right there. I love myself on the Louisiana pet. Got your boy Frankie Lucky Dog here. Trying to hang in there as I've had many things, illnesses. Had things from pink eye to runny nose, sore throat, itch, headache, oh my god, messed up finger. I'm shaking back though. Got the lines open, streaming online, vmfm917.org. Later on in the show, you'll hear me interview my boy Josh the Model, who supplied me with my very own Frankie the Lucky Dog chain. So shout out to him. And we're going to keep the hot music going for the next two hours. Underground exclusive Louisiana rap music. From 2010, here's RLK featuring Lil Ken, Amateur. to let him hang. Disturb young hustlers. Turn it up, it's crooked. Good. Crooked, my boy Crooked right there with I'm on right now on the Louisiana pit. Got Blue Blue up from Crooked. That was produced by Poppy. And before that, we had Disturbed Young Hustlers with Nothing to Lose from 1998. And we had the Mud Fam with Let Him Hang, produced by Beat Flipper. Let my Frankie the Lucky Dog chain hang right now. We're going to take it back to 2004 right now. We got some K Chill out of Gorillaville Records with Belusis, Louisiana. Here is Wow. Dizzy, a.k.a. Raw D.I., featuring Manny Fresh, Muggsy, and The Show, with me. And yeah, nobody can do it like Frankie the Lucky Dog. You know, I'm original 100% of the time. Before that song, we had Ronnie Mai from 2009, What a Bomb, Free Kevin Gates. And let's keep it going, for also from 2009, here's Zippa Castro, featuring One Eye, Shake Back. <laughs> No, never do I hide. I stay here in the Louisiana pit. Two feet featuring Tony Bones, Dirty Dirty, on the Louisiana pit. Eighth Ward Villains before that with EWV from 1996 off Lady Red self-titled album. The one before that actually sounded like a flashback, but it's brand new music. It's Fiend featuring Mr. Servon, Mia X, and Calico the Champ, produced by KLC, called I Don't Hide. That's right, we're going to keep the music going by taking a commercial break, so keep it locked to the Louisiana Pet. <laughs> That's why you can't ask for anything better. Woo! This is what I want to hear. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yes, 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 for There we go. Got another sky. We're definitely doing it right now. We're putting you on the air. Yes, Showing Buku love to my boy Skies right there. Don't do it on the Louisiana Pit off of his A Major Way Out mixtape on that Piff right now. 
and we've been praying for his mom to feel better. That song's about his grandma, but my grandma, rapping grandma, had something to say for Skye's his mom. She says, so sorry about his mom, but you tell him not only are you praying for her, but that grandma from Long Island is including her in my prayers that she will beat this thing and be a cancer survivor and praying that Jesus will give him and his family strength during this difficult time. Just remember Jesus can do extraordinary things and he can feel Skye's pain and will be there to comfort him as well as his mom. Tell him grandma says hello and I'm keeping him in my thoughts and prayers every day as she does for me too. So I definitely appreciate that. Recapping a little bit real quick what we heard. We had Iceman the Lyricist with I'm Good, I'm Great from 2010, and JD featuring Q Thug, Bengi, and Gangsta with Rip It Up from 2001. Right about now, let's take it to 2007. We got Javon, aka Jimmy Mac, with 366. Oh, wow, keep it on the DL. Just flying, just hacky mouth. You know where we going? Bury me. Thuggin. Vic Jack with Bury Me Thuggin, BMT on the Louisiana pit. Shout out to Hawk. We had Hacky Mo before that with Fire from 1998. 31st DD featuring T Dub with Down Low was before that one. And almost ready for the Josh the Model interview. Wait till you hear it talking about what he does, especially how I got my little Frank the Like a Dog necklace. It's coming up. Just stay tuned. From 2002 right now, let's go to Lil Dank with Meow. Meow. Follow me around. If you got your own house, follow me around. Meow. Follow me around. Hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me break it down right here. Jam care for the other. Follow me out. If you got your own home, follow me out. Yeah. Follow me out. You heard me like, you know, swagger. Frankie the Lucky Dog in the building, no matter how sick I'm feeling, I got someone on the line. Who is this? It's Josh, aka Josh Amato. Thumbs up for getting in contact with me. What up? What up, Frank? How you been, homie? I've been sick as an unlucky dog. Oh, that ain't good, man. Take some meds. Yeah, I've been trying... Trying to shake back as much as possible, but the grinding don't stop, you dig? Yeah, it can't stop no matter what, no matter what situation it is. You know, you got to overlook some stuff and continue to move on. Definitely. Now, let's start off with your first talent. What made you become a model? Uh, what made me become a model? I was like 16 years old. I received, um, like, this casting call in the mail. I went to it. I made it. But back then, I was shy. So I, I chilled out. So family and them were like, yo, you should try it again. Try it. So I thought about it. You know, I said, if I do it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get my own. So I got back to it when I was 20. Um, signed with this agency. They kind of screwed me over. And ever since then, I've just been going freelance. And I said, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I don't even want to get old and be like, oh, I should have gave this a try. I should have gave him all. So now I'm just all looking at getting him all. And it just inspired me to do it. And keep doing your thing with it because you're definitely making some noise. Now you're trying to also build a reputation with making necklaces. How did this start? Well, it started like six years ago. Um, I had this clothing shop. And I was known around town to let dudes be selling the little wood niggas. I used to get them wholesale from my little partner. But then he just started disappearing. And then, like, people, he was still eyeing the man. So I decided to take on, and whatever I do, I, I keep my own. I went out, find out, did research my uh, stuff, and try to find out how to make. 
take it what I need and it just move from there. Um, I made my first hand to train or I beat the hand in from Better Rose Louisiana and, and sold it to Mouse. Mouse to make the train from Better Rose Louisiana. And he told his little plug and it's just been going from there. I've just been making uh, different artists, R.I.P., custom necklaces, whatever you need. You have a pizza, eat there. I do the light switch covers for the house. I do the earrings for the ladies. I do like in the stash boxes. You can put whatever you want in there, coins, jewelry, whatever. There's just no limit to what it is. What I'm doing. Definitely what's up, and that's cool that you got Mouse to buy it. What was it like getting in contact with him? Uh, I, we've been knowing each other ever since we were, like, what, 18, 19 years old. We used to work together, me, him, and Andy, so there really wasn't no big deal getting in contact with him. We always stayed in contact ever since we left working at where we were working, so it was just, he saying him. Certified status right there, and I definitely appreciate you making mine definite thumbs up for that. Yeah, I appreciate you allowing me to make it and having the patience, uh, uh, having the patience for me to, to get get to all the to you. So I really want to give you a big shout out and say you appreciate that. I really thank you for that. Yeah, definitely. Now, have you ever thought of rapping or singing? Uh, I thought about rapping, singing like a long time ago, but I don't, I don't think I, I don't think that's my talent. So I'm just gonna stay away from that. And, 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 and the people that, that have talent do that. I understand, because it's not like I want to hear you on the auto-tune anyway. Yeah, yeah, I don't, don't want to do that. I, I said I was going to, because my cousin, he makes beats. Um, they were on the track, you know what I'm saying? Another great producer from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And, you know, I'd be, I'd be wanting to get in the studio messing around with him, but I don't know really just go in there and do it. I said, I, I, I'd play around with it, but I don't think that's what I, I, mean, I want to do. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Now, you got anything planned for the future? Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, uh, what, for August, I'm um, planning on getting a land up for the, for the uh, ad show. We're going to honor the promote. Um, I have a fashion show at the end of this month, June 26th, in Houston, Texas. I plan on getting an extra stuff to go promote her, her, her. Got a new calendar that I released beginning of the year, but I got another one that I'm about to release at the, um, got a festival line, but it's for 2012, and it's promote that hard, and just selling the ground with this freelance stuff, man, and that's it, like, I'm really proud of myself, because everything I do is, is, I, I got out there, I did it, with no sponsors, and no, none of it. no, I'm just gonna continue to push the way I'm pushing until I make it, get that break. I co-sign that. You got the summer 2K11 on lock. And I see Quick was rocking one of your necklaces, too. Shout out to Quick. Free Quick. I finna play him in the click with their We Go Boozy on the Louisiana Pet. Yeah, like, um, I can't do one of the rabbit is doing. I got Quick rocking my necklace. I got, uh... Money bags. I got named the whole Ben Roots rocking my necklace. I ain't just certain people. Like I got Ben Roots on lock with the necklace. I got uh, New Orleans. You know, New Orleans rocking my necklace. Last year, uh, Shreveport, Houston, Dallas. Uh, mainly the states in the south right now because that's where I'm marketing it. But it's, it's, it's about to blow. You're going to see it in a minute. Everybody going to be trying to get at you, get at me. I'm not dizzy though. <laughs> 
Crazy, oh my god. That's quick and money bags featuring bad E and T, Lil Boosie's label. We go Boosie, produced by DJ B Real. Free quick, hopefully he gets out of jail soon. Before that song you heard the interview I did with Josh the model. You heard Quick Draw, Swagger So Sick from 2010, produced by E D. Now let's Take a look at the weather. Scranton, Pennsylvania. It wasn't too warm today, but 63 now. Baton Rouge, it's 82, feel like 85. It's gonna be 99 tomorrow. Oh, let's go boosie. <laughs> we'll just do nothing up here. But as Josh mentioned, he gave a shout out to Doe. So let's play some Doe from 2010. This is mad hot. Wow, pounds like Pounds featuring ad lib, I believe, produced by Pounds too. Hard in the paint, wanna know? Can we go hard in the paint? Oh, you got me singing on the Louisiana pit. We had Roach Marley before that, featuring Lil One the Rider with Um Gucci, and the weather alert went off in the middle of that song. That's the first time that ever happened on my radio show. I'm Interesting. Well, I'm about to bounce for the week. You may catch me next week. I should be here next Saturday. We got one song left. Cool Al featuring KP and Jules. Who that from 2010. But also, Josh the Model is going to say something when we return. Because we're going to have a commercial break. But catch me next week on the Louisiana Pit. You know what it is. Break it like a dog. Break it like a dog. What will we bring to you next week? 